most expensive cookies in the world. How about that? <laughs> huh. Okay, this is story time. And it's a true story. Alright, so I was like... Oh, I guess 15, 15, 16. And I was uh, living at Mom, Mom Layton's house. That was kind of shocking for me. I wasn't into all that stuff. Uh, my dad, I don't think my daddy ever had a gun in the house. And so, anyway, he didn't have a lot of food in the house, but he had some dishes and stuff and could work a little bit. And so, he was gone. I thought, I'll do something really cool. Let's see what he's got. And I said, well, there's some stuff here to make cookies with. That's pretty cool. So, um... I had to get a couple other things. I think I had to get some butter or something. And so uh, I was going to make sugar cookies. And so I went across the street. There was a market there. I think it was like Mar Vista Market or something. No, it wasn't Mar Vista Market. It was a St. Bella Market or something. And um, so I went across the street. The store is no longer there. I went across the street to go get a couple more things and started to make sugar cookies and um, uh, his sister came by when I had them done and she had tried one she's like ooh cookies <coughs> and then she did the tap dance on my newly waxed floor which I put about four coats of wax on it that I was so proud of like trashing it up before he even got home. But anyway, so I have made these sugar cookies. And um, they were beautiful. Big, huge, thick, white sugar cookies. And um, they came out just perfect. They were beautiful. So, and this is back in the day where, you know, everybody just had mere pennies. You know, you only had a couple bucks to your name. And so you took that little bit to go buy whatever you needed to get and that was just the way it was so you know uh that's that's why I only had to buy a couple things at the market or whatever but anyway so uh I didn't have any money unless like Rocky had left some money left a note and said hey babe you know pick up this date or whatever <laughs> And, uh, so anyway, um, I, uh, uh, had made these beautiful cookies, and, uh, 
so when he comes home, he says, uh, wow, cookies. And I was like, yeah. And I was like all proud, you know, they were so pretty and perfect. I had them just stacked up there real nice. There's a deer right there. It's a baby. Yeah. And so he's, he goes to take a bite of them and he said, God, those are delicious. He said, where did you um, get all the stuff to make them? I said, well, I had to go to the market and get, you know, a couple things. Um, you know, I think I bought, you could buy a stick of butter and it was like 50 cents for a stick or something like that. You know, they would split it up so you could buy whatever you needed. So I just had got a few things. And he said, well, God, you know, the sugar is expensive. He said, where'd you get the sugar? I said, well, you had some sugar. He said, no, I don't. I don't keep sugar in my house. And I said, well, yeah, you do. And he said, what are you talking about? I said, well, there's a bag in the cupboard. He said, what do you mean a bag in the cupboard? And he whoops the cupboard open. And he said, were you talking about that big Ziploc bag that was on the top shelf? I said, yeah, it's full of sugar. <laughs> he said, what the hell? He said, do you know what that is? I said, sugar. I mean, it's not rat poison or anything, is it? Because your sister was here earlier and she ate one. And he said, these are the most expensive cookies in the world. And I said, what do you mean? And he, and he says, do you know? And he's like laughing and looking at me real serious. He goes, do you know what you... What was in that bag? I said, sugar. <laughs> and he goes, no. He said, it was not sugar. And he's like rolling his eyes up and he's like laughing like he can't even believe that I, I did what I did. And I was about in tears because I was just trying to do something nice and good so like he would be proud of me and think I was sweet. And um, because you know the best way to get to a man's brain is his stomach. So, um, and guys love goodies, you know. And who could resist sugar cookie? You know, I have to decide what flavor of cookie, because everybody likes sugar cookie. And so he's like freaking out. And I'm like, what in the hell did I ever do wrong? I mean, you know, I had spent the whole day making these beautiful cookies. And he's, he's like, you don't seem to understand. He's like freaking out. He's pacing across the apartment, coming back, and he's like waving his arm around. He says, he says, I can't believe it. He said, I still can't believe it, but the cookies are good. And he takes another bite. And I'm like, well, I mean, at least you're eating them. I mean, I thought you were trying to tell me there was poison in them or something. I don't understand. And, and he's, he's like, what was in the bag was cocaine. And I was like, that big bag was all cocaine. <laughs> I mean, there must have been like four cups of it, right? <laughs> There's deer. No dearies. Deer. So, uh, yeah, they were the most expensive cookies on this earth. Well, I guess you could say instead of have to <laughs> actually um, do it whatever way you want, just eat the whole cookie. And you'd be gone for a week. God, I can't believe it. I, it probably cooked it out. I don't know. But yeah. Incredible sugar cookies. Mm. Needless to say, I didn't eat any. I had, I had like one. One. <laughs> <laughs> scared about that. I was like, no, it's drugs. Because <laughs> cocaine was not my thing. And, uh, I, I had, I didn't even know anything about that kind of stuff too much. But anyway, but that was a real popular drug back in the day. Party drug that people did. But, wow, yeah. Cocaine, cocaine. 